Zerzon Watcher's Grave on Nessus. He's currently selling the Season of the Hunt armor set, specifically the activity armor. If you guys haven't picked this up, you might as well pick this up now. He did sell this three weeks ago, which I didn't make a video on that, but we're just gonna reiterate because new weapons, new exotics, and hopefully better rolls, unless that, unless that video had good rolls. Either way, uh, I really like the hunter set. I like the fact that the cloak is hoodless. So if you want to go for a hoodless look, this is a really good set for it. Uh, the chest piece is really good for tactical stuff. The arms are really good, although I rarely use them. And the boots are also pretty good, pretty cool. The helmet is the only piece that's kind of like whatever's to me. As for the stats on the armor, we're going to be looking at the arms with a 22 on mobility, a discipline at 20 and a strength at two. I mentioned strength because you can put radiant light on this so that way you can bump it up to a 22 or you can put powerful friends so you can bump that mobility up to a 42. There's a lot of things you could do this and I haven't even touched the the uh, 10 stat that you get from whatever you choose. So I would probably personally if I did pick this up, which I'm still thinking about, I would probably just bump the intellect to 17 and then put a radiant light on this so I can have a 22. So that way I can have a build revolving around abilities. For the chest piece, we have high resilience and pretty low recovery, which you can make it better with a plus 10, which I probably would do. And then for mobility, I'll probably have another armor piece that has high mobility so that way I can even it out. Uh, this one's pretty good. Uh, high resilience, when you master work this, is gonna be 18 or 19, which is pretty good. And then recovery, most likely I will be putting a plus 10 on it. So 22 would be really nice as well. Uh, for the helmet, high mobility again with high intellect, which is pretty good. Now only, my only concern is, well, I guess I can just bump up the discipline. That'd be pretty fine. The 19 discipline, although I don't really run a lot of grenade mod, uh, builds for me personally. And then the boots are pretty f forgettable. I mean, you could put a plus 10 on the recovery, so you can have a 13, 20, and then 14. It's fine. It's not the best I've seen. As for the Titans, I think the best pieces are definitely the helmet and the boots. I think the chest piece is kind of whatever's and same goes for the arms and the mark is even where I think the mark is the worst part. But as for the actual stats, we're looking at a very high resilience and 10 recovery is fine considering I would probably just bump up the recovery to 20. Uh, I would probably recommend this one. The chest piece, uh, is not the best personally. I mean, 20 and intellect is pretty dope, but recovery is a little too low and resilience is a little too low. So if you were to get this one, I would probably just bump up the resilience because 15 recovery is fine. Uh, for the helmet, I, I don't like any of this. This is very mid. And then, uh, I would probably say the same thing for the boots, although bump up the recovery you'll have a 22 and a 16 once you master work this it'll be 18 and 24 that's not bad it's just i mean the good thing is mobility is really low and you'll essentially be getting at least a plus one on everything below that so it's not terrible it's just if you don't have something better then this is definitely really good as for the warlocks i actually like the helmet a lot it is a little small on females i don't know how it looks on males but it is a little small and other than that i think every every other piece is straight trash i think the the chest piece is really bad i think the arms are really bad i think the boots maybe are pretty good and then the bond it's bad too because it doesn't change color so i know this is pretty bad but i would at least recommend the helmet and i if you have the legendary silver for it i just get it all it might as well you might never know when some pieces look good with each other but let's see, let's see the actual stat on the armor. Recovery at 22 is nice. You always like to see that. Um, resilience is a little too low, but I'd probably just bump it up. Mm, I was going to say maybe put a plus 10 on resilience, but I feel like that's such a waste. Although strength is at 13, so you could put a radiant light and put a put it up to a 33, which is pretty gross because then at, at that point, I'd probably just put a, a plus 10 on. No, wait. Yeah, plus 10 on recovery and then have a 30, 32 and then a, a 33 on strength. That'd be pretty wild. Chess piece is disappointing. I mean, like it's high mobility, but it's also the fact that everything is just not that great. Uh, helmet, 
24 on resilience is pretty foul i fuck with this one hard same thing with rate with the arms put radiant uh light on the on the helmet and you have a plus a 30 you'll have a 30 on strength 24 on resilience and then at that point i probably would just bump the discipline up to a 20 and then on another piece of armor have like really high recovery to even it out and then for the boots i'm gonna ignore this because 22 mobility is just disgraceful but yeah let's look at the armor or the weapons themselves so last stands with outlaw rangefinder which is meh i'm not a fan of sidearms right now although mm, i don't know uh, hip fire grip and unrelenting i'm not even gonna look at that one hip fire grip and warp bolt definitely not gonna look at that one slide shot and eye of the storm this one might be actually fun for pvp considering slide shot i love to death and eye of the storm some people might actually like it encore and harmony i'm gonna ignore this one burst or not that one relentless strike and flash counter i'm gonna ignore that one too will world ugh, killing wind and snapshot sights which i'm also not the biggest fan of it does have threat detector which is fine i guess is it gonna change stuff on me or i guess not for the exotics we're gonna be looking at hawkman with hit fire grip which i'm gonna ignore dead man's tail with vorpal weapon which is a good roll i would always tell you to pick up a dead man's tail with either vorpal weapon uh fourth time's a charm or subsistence i think those are the three that you need to have on lock because all three of those are really good for the weapon we have crimson which is pretty good uh gemini jester with 14 mobility 16 recovery and pretty much a one on everything else aside from the resilience mod but other than that this is pretty good i probably would bump up the mobility with powerful friends to get it up to a 20 or 34 and then at that point bump up the recovery so that way i can have a 26 or you could put a resilience mod so that way you can have a one in almost everything uh eternal warrior jesus christ why is that mobility so high ignore this one and crown of tempest I I yeah ignore this one too like this one's this one's terrible like absolutely terrible so let me know what you guys are going to be picking up in the comments below as for the exotic obviously we're going to be choosing the exotic for the hunter because i always do that i don't know why you guys would would have thought i was gonna pick it for the motherfucker dog i swear to god this game is really getting on my my motherfucking nerve dog oh my god okay so this isn't terrible actually hi i okay i'll take that back this is actually pretty dope uh mobility is pretty low but i'm probably just gonna bump it up to an 18 and then i'll have a one on resilience which is whatever i usually want to be at and 16 uh, recovery isn't bad at all. And then discipline's already super high on a on a grenade focused exotic. So this is probably better than what I already have. But I didn't even use Lucky Raspberry to begin with. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Are you guys gonna be picking up this armor? Let me know. Don't let this chance slip you by because I don't know if we're gonna get this next season because we have already gotten like two or three times now. So just I just I would just recommend you to get this because again, all right yeah we we don't know if it's going to come back next season although knowing bungie we're probably going to see it forever and not see any other armor that we actually want to see so let me know what you guys are going to pick up and i'll see you guys later